everyone watching for any developments there tonight. Bit of a change of mood now, though, in the story of the painter renowned for his famous matchstick figures. Of course, we're talking about Ellis Lowry. His distinctive style won him fans all over the globe. But back home in Salford, he was known as a complex figure, and his home life, especially his relationship with his mother, is explored in a new film that's premiering where else but at the Lowry in Salford. Yeah, that premieres tonight. We can cross live now to our reporter, Victoria Grimes, who is on the red carpet. Victoria, tell us more, please. I am on the red carpet indeed, Mr Morris, and if you look behind me, it doesn't get much more celeb than this, does it? There is Vanessa Redgrave herself in the white top. She's signing autographs there. She's just arrived. Everyone is very, very excited to see her. She is, of course, starring as Mrs Lowry in Mr Lowry and Mrs Lowry and Son, and we'll be hearing a little bit more from her later, but for now, here's a little look at Lowry's life and a few words from those who knew him best. I'm amused by life. And sudden by it. Oh, oh. He's one of the world's most famous artists. His work instantly recognizable. I think the world is full of odd looking creatures. To me, they're very pictorial. Ellis Lowry made showing his vision of his hometown and its people part of his life's work. His mills are matchstick men recording forever, an often witty snapshot of times gone by. He was a gentleman, he, he, he had a humour. Artist and dealer George Ad first met Lowry at Salford Gallery, where they bonded over a love of his pastels. Lowry used to come to the house, the wife would feed him, so he used to like coming. Sometimes they get me marbles out and he'd be on his hands and knees and play marbles with me and just saw him feel like a grandfather figure, so he didn't really realise who he is. A doodle. What sort of doodles? Oh, anything, amusing things, and to put them in a waste paper basket afterwards. He just lived for painting and drawing. He used to have my cigarette senior mm. service <laughs> cigarette packets because it was quite big and the back was white. But when we used to take him to Stanleylands, he used to do on the napkins for the girl, the waitress. Today, I saw a woman. She had a beard. Is that legal? I found her rather beautiful. What did Lowry's mum and dad think of his, his painting? Well, I don't think they agreed with him. See, they wanted to get him a proper job. The painting by Mr. Ellis Lowry coming from the mill is confusing and appears to have been painted by a child. I don't think he wanted to be a multimillionaire or anything. He was happy. He used to say after his death, he, he, you just see him in junk shops and they going for nothing. Will he be extremely lucky to find a Lowry painting in a junk shop these days? His paintings sell for millions of pounds and are sought after by collectors all over the world. But the largest collection of his works is right here in Salford. People's grandparents and parents often had prints on the walls of their homes, so people feel that they know Lowry. And I think he was worried that his reputation would, be, would survive and said, you know, will I last? But I think the fact the collection is here, the fact the film's coming out, you know, various things that have happened over the years, is just testament to his popularity and the fact that his reputation has survived, really. I think d down inside he'd have been, got some joy from it that he has been successful. Yeah. And he'd probably think that, I wish my father could hear this, because he used to tell him to get a proper job. You've got a collection yourself, Love and then you few. deal in Lowry's paintings now yes. as well. Yeah. So he had a profound effect on you then, when you were just yeah. a little kid, didn't he? Yes. That's what's in my blood, if you know what I mean. And my daughter, I take her down to Lowry's grave, and she's you know, coming to be a good artist, and she's only 14. And she inspired by his work as well. Yes. Yeah. She loves it. Am I an artist? I'm a man who paints. Nothing more. Nothing less. 
Oh, well, it looks absolutely amazing, doesn't it? And we are joined by the stars of the show. This is, of course, Timothy Small and Vanessa Redgrave. This film looks like it's going to be absolutely amazing from the clips that we've been lucky enough to see so far. But Tim, such a huge job to take on a character like Larry. But he's done well. lots of huge jobs. Well, you, some of you. One not or two. Not one or two. You. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, it's 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 it, it is a big deal. But you know, I mean, it's uh, when you're working you with people. Those. Yeah, we we we, we <laughs> must we have been a child. We tried to carve out something, didn't we? Yes. Yeah. I mean, working with Vanessa at Redgrave, that must have just been horrendous for you. I can't imagine how bad it yes, was it because she's such a massive, massive, it? huge star. And you got to spend a lot of the time with them. We did <laughs> Did you enjoy making this film, Vanessa? I loved working with Tim. Did Same you? here, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. kind of you, thank yeah, you. Yeah, no, it, yes. I really loved working with him. And an interesting relationship between Larry and his mother that's portrayed throughout this. It was a lot more complicated, I think, than people seem to realise. I don't think anybody knows the relationship. Nobody does. That's why it's interesting yeah. to see, well, one of the reasons, not the reason, but one of the reasons why it's interesting to see this film, to see the horror of a woman who wanted to be artistic and couldn't be for various reasons, including lack of talent, perhaps, <laughs> and had yeah. a son who she despises and treats dreadfully because she's disappointed. She thought he'd be a Michelangelo. Mm. It's very sad, well, it, but well, it, what he does is not sad. Well, no, what's interesting is that uh, Vanessa paints a very grim picture, but, of course, the one thing that, taken this, uh, you know, granted, is what Vanessa said, he adored her, and he did everything for her. Um, and it, But the thing was, as uncomfortable as it was and the way she treated him, this was his natural state. He was brought up to be and live in this world, so he didn't expect anything else. So, and, But he knew all the time that what he was painting was driving her mad, and she never met, missed an opportunity to tell him how much she hated the work. Yes. I, d I did hear he was a, he was a bit, a bit of a humorous man who liked to uh, sort of do things like that sometimes. And Tim as well. Like you do feel... things like what? <laughs> like sort of, sort of almost... Um, um, I think what I'm trying to say is sort of uh, he liked a little bit of a joke and a laugh sometimes, but that's another story. So well, he did, but I mean, considering his home life, yeah, uh, he, he needed one. <laughs> <laughs> yes, desperate. <laughs> and you filmed here in um, at the Lowry, didn't you? We you filmed did. part of it here. Mm. We did, Vanessa didn't, but mainly we filmed in a studio that made it look like in their house in Penrobury in Stockport, and then. Uh, most of the film, or a large proportion of the film, is in this bedroom, uh, which Mrs. Lowry's room, which they... Yes, which the purgatory. Mm. It all sounds wonderful. Thank you so much for chatting to us tonight. We're really, really happy that you're here. Thank you. Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank, you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much. Thanks, Vicky. One of his most famous paintings, The Football Match, takes us back to the fight for survival of Berry and Bob.